All right, let's bring in Greg Sheridan, foreign editor of the Australian newspaper, to get across uh, a whole lot of stuff happening here in Australia, but of course, as is his expertise, uh, some stuff happening overseas uh, tonight too, particularly. Greg, let's start with energy if we can. Jim Sharma is saying we've crossed this threshold. He's talking about tax reform, or don't read it as tax reform, talking about tax hikes there, uh, demonising fossil fuels, pushing ahead with uh, renewable energy schemes. We know that there's a lot of engineering uh, falsehoods built into what the government's doing. We look at Germany, Greg. They've invested record amounts in renewables, but they're now turning back to coal-fired power to keep the lights on, spending another 310 billion dollars to shield German residents and companies from high energy prices. And the government's saying there'll be no handouts here, but how on earth do people uh, make ends meet? Well, Peter, I thought you had an absolutely brilliant column on this matter in The Australian today, with which I agree completely. Look, it just doesn't make sense. It's complete nonsense. Germany is bitterly regretting its move away from nuclear energy. Everywhere else, the move is back towards nuclear energy. We're crazy in this country to commission our coal-fired power stations to decommission them so quickly. And we're insane to make gas the enemy because even if you get to a renewable future, you've got to have, uh, you know, dispatchable energy backup and that's going to be gas for the foreseeable future. Um, it just doesn't add up. My, my prediction is that the government will interfere in the market and force the gas companies to provide a percentage of their gas cheaply to Australia. I think they'll do that rather than impose windfall taxes. But, uh, you know, at the mm. same time, they're discouraging the exploration of further gas. We've got miles of gas under, under our soil and our water, and we're not uh, exploring it because gas has been demonised. Meanwhile, China has announced record production of coal India, Vietnam, everywhere else is going gangbusters with coal. It just, uh, it's, it's a complete nonsense, uh, uh, the situation we're in. It, it's not real.